Hello, my name is Henry Emfrey. This is a game development tutorial to teach the basics of how to make a fighting game in the Monkey X programming language. I'm going to try to make two types of fighting games. One is going to be like the original Nintendo game Kung Fu, and the other type of fighting game will be like my own game that is along the lines of Double Dragon, uh, Streets of Rage, you know, Final Fight, you know, t uh, and, and games like that. It's those kind of games that were, uh, you know, originated back in the, the original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis days. Man, the memories of playing those games a long time ago. It was nice to get together with a bunch of friends, get pizza, Pepsi, and just go at it and play it together and try to beat the games. You know, it, it doesn't seem like yeah, enough kids uh, do that anymore these days. Nor do they know anything about that. <laughs> At least not from where I've been seeing. And some of these same concepts will could expand on to, uh, you know, for you to, to create your own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle arcade game. Yes! I know y'all gonna like that. I mean, uh, oh man, me, the days of playing those, that Nintendo, uh, that that game at the arcade, you know, with uh, you know, with, with four other players. Oh man, that was awesome, and just the memories of that is uh, is it's nostalgia. I can say, you know, it's, it brings back cool memories. You know, it's exciting to think about. So anyway, I'm going to make the fighting game using the Monkey X video game programming language. Now, Monkey X is a language that was. Uh, made for making a computer games. It's an offspring of another programming language for making games called Blitz Basic. And all are a dialect of the basic, uh, basic stands for, standing for beginners, all purpose, symbolic instruction code. And, but the main difference, uh, but the main difference between Blitz Basic and Monkey X is Monkey X allows you to deploy your game to various devices, including Android, Desktop, Flash, HTML, and I think they have something for uh, Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, just like kind of like uh, the game engine called Unity. You know, Unity allows you to uh, to um, deploy your game um, uh, to various devices uh, too. Now, now, if anybody asks me, I love the basic programming languages. Those are the programming languages that I started out with, and they're easy to learn. And if you want to get your your start in programming, then these are the perfect places to start. You could especially start out with Blitz Basic or Monkey X. They also have an active community who are dedicated, and they will help you out and thus if you have any questions just go to their uh, forums I'll leave the link below and ask ask them you know you can post your code and you get a response within uh, maybe for an hour or a day or a few days or in a few minutes and and now that's what's up and I'd even I even asked them uh, my questions in general. If I have uh, questions about games, uh, computer questions, anything, I just go to those forums. And I tend to like the basic language types of language far more than uh, uh, languages like uh, uh, Java, JavaScript, and all that other stuff. That is, those above languages are languages that are most used to today, and they're fairly easy to. And I learned those. I learned JavaScript and Java, and and one can get start their start as a beginning programmer, learning those languages too. But I just love the basic and monkey uh, basic languages, uh, like uh, you know Blitz Basic and Monkey X and basic languages. Uh, and I, I I mean another thing I like about the uh, basic dialect languages are is uh, their layout and the aesthetics of using them. I mean, they just look and sound like video game programming languages to me. And I guess I have that image of Atari games still stuck in my brain 
for Atari games were made with basic languages, and that and that's now how games started out before all this other stuff that we have today. And I just so I just love the basic language and and to bring it all back to Monkey X. That's why I like the uh, this Monkey X language. I mean, they can forget all that other stuff. Just keep the basic languages. And, uh, get rid of Java and all the other stuff. Just keep the basic languages, <laughs> in my opinion. No, no, I'm just, I'm just joking. But I just, I, I mean, that's what how I feel, kind of. And when I do my 2D game development, I use these programming languages uh, to uh, usually build my 2D games, so that when I finish making my games, I can say it's mine. <laughs> but anyway, um, and they have some, the Monkey X language and Blitz Basic has some 3D uh, functionality and maybe I'll, I will do a, a video tutorial on how to get the um, Monkey X 3D functionality uh, set up uh, and let you go uh, work on, in 3D on the Monkey X programming language and maybe you can go from there. But uh, that's, maybe that's for another day, and uh, that's, uh, yeah, uh, that's maybe what I'll do in the future. So that's just my little intro about the Monkey X language. And I, I, later on, in the next tutorial, uh, I'll get started on making a fighting game. Peace.